had kind of like a premonition about my creativity and about what kind of art I want to start doing, I guess. But first, let me just crack open a beer. Cheers. So I did a little bit of art shopping and I really want to start doing oil painting. Well, I don't necessarily call myself a painter. I actually don't call myself a painter at all. I have this painting in the back. This has been a project since last year. So it's been a year since I haven't finished this and it's not like I paint it every day. It's, it's like I just stare at it and sometimes I, I paint on it, but it's not done. What I normally do is, is sketches. Sometimes I do more subjective art than abstract. Although abstract sounds really intriguing. I went to this really popular art store in Paris called Rougie en Play. So I'm gonna do a little bit of an art haul. For one, this shit was really expensive. I paid it with my hard earned gold cash just to see if these endeavors will be the right path for me. Okay, there's two reasons why I want to start doing oil painting. The first reason is I went on a trip to Turkey maybe a few weeks ago. I think in Istanbul, I had such a different view. It felt kind of like a different bird's eye view of perspective, um, of colors, of uh, subjects, of honestly everything. What I experienced in Turkey was a beautiful thing. Um, I ended up painting such a beautiful piece that meant so much to me. It really kind of kickstarted me to want to keep going with this and, and to see what more I, I can do of this. The second reason, I've been reading this book, Killing Commitador by Haruki Murakami, a Japanese writer. And this book is specifically about a painter who kind of goes through different perspectives in his artistic creativity and kind of like his perception of what he wants to do. What makes him feel good to do such a big part in, in being an artist because you kind of want to always grow as an artist and find new techniques. I spent a grand total of $79.94. The first thing I got, the Franck Bourgeois Galley. Um, this means oils. This comes in a set of 12 and it was only 18 euros, which I was so close to getting the acrylic paints. Like I said, those were like 36 euros and it had six paints in it. And I'm really fucking proud of myself that I kept looking instead of just settling for what I just, for what the first thing I, I set my eyes on. I also got just a little bit more paints because there was another brand that I really wanted to try. This one is called uh, Rive Gouche. I, I read online, apparently this, the name came from a French bank. It didn't really sound too exciting. And I really love the colors more in this brand, black. Although I have a black here, this one, a little bit better settling um, to my eye and it's called Mars Black. I also got this color, but I picked this color because of the name, and this one is Rouge Indien, and uh, in English it's Indian Red. I think the name really caught my eye because the other name was Copper. <laughs> I guess the way Bombay, um, India was written about in the book Shantaram that I really loved, I decided to get this color because of that book. I swear that book made me so like mesmerized and intrigued by India. Anyways, that was the whole, that was the whole gist of this. I also got a warm gray tone because I don't think I've ever owned a color like this. I really like the, the color of this. I'm really getting into beige and into like caramel colors. This one says a warm gray, so it's kind of interesting because it's called gray, but it don't look great. Um, I also just got a basic orange color. Well, this isn't necessarily basic. It's a red-orange hue. It's because this set doesn't have orange. I think it's really important to have the basic colors, uh, but I decided to do the red-orange hue to have a little fun with it. I also got this color silver, although it looks like a little bit of a light olive color, like this reminds me more of a sage green and this is kind of why I got it. Sometimes I just pick colors and I'm sure every artist 
things like this but sometimes I just pick colors that I'm vibing with and I want to definitely paint with this to see what comes out of it and yeah those are all of the single paints and each one I believed cost four euros and 85 cents so that was a pretty nice deal Although it's not really a steal, I mean, the whole fucking store was expensive, but we do what we can with bougie places on a low income. Another thing I got, which was really important, is a, uh, what is this? Oh, an art palette, what the fuck? One of my favorite artists, um, she's an acrylic painter, but she does use one of these. From what I see, the paint can easily be removed off of this one instead of having a basic wooden one. I just wanted a bigger space to be able to have a variety of, of colors going on. Next things which which was why I was at the store. Picking oils was a little bit hard for me. The one I actually wanted it was a lavender scent uh, oil. Those were actually used in the Renaissance times. Apparently it's non-toxic well, it just smells like fucking lavender. And who doesn't want their painting to smell like lavender? But unfortunately, that was 22 euros for literally the smallest bottle. Medium cost 40 euros. And the bigger one cost, I don't know, like 60 euros. Um, there's still a couple of things that I wanted to buy. I didn't really have the money to do so. It's nice, like you don't have to necessarily get everything at once. I think ideally, you don't really know what you're gonna like and you don't really know what you're going to need and so instead of getting so many things on one trip to the store you can kind of space it out to to see what you need um, and to see what you what you vibe with uh, and also because you're broke it kind of has to do a lot with it the next thing I got is actually I don't really know what this is what really caught my eye was that it says increases the setting in five hours as well as brilliance, transparency, and flow of the colors. That sounds pretty lovely. Brilliance, transparency, and flow of the colors. Like, I wanna be a brilliant artist. I want my painting to have that transparency, flow of the colors type deal, you know? It kind of has like a honey consistency. I'm kind of unsure how this would work if it needs to kind of sit out in the sun to melt a little before I use, or do I use this after I'm done painting? Do I use this in the paints? We don't know. I guess it reads satiné. I don't, got no clue what that is, but it sounds like satin. These two and this are all the same brand. Each of those were around seven euros. We're reaching the very end of my art haul. The next thing I got, which I'm really excited to use actually. Well, let me tell you one thing. There came a moment when I had first moved to Paris three years ago, I was getting into ink art. So I was doing a lot of artwork uh, with ink. I really liked it because I, I found it pretty easy going and um, something that I can just do and not have to do it for a long period of time. Sometimes if I'm being lazy or just want to accomplish something, I, I had like to use the ink. So I saw that they had ink there, but this one is more of a, a very, very burnt orange or a brown. It, it kind of has like a reddish brown orange tint. It looks brown on the camera, but it's honestly a really pretty color and um, I think especially if I use this for like subjective art uh, it could probably look really good this was around four euros paints were actually cheaper by 10 cents but I like having options when I'm able to my allergies have really been acting up today and I didn't really think I had allergies kind of feels like I'm like sniffing pepper the whole day no I will start wrapping this up because my phone is running out of storage. But the last was a brush cleaner. My friend had this at her place uh, when I went to visit her in Istanbul and I promise it helped so much to be able to clean my brushes. Brushes I haven't used in a while so they're pretty stiff but not so much stiff. I can still possibly 
clean them. I swear if I'm if I have to throw away any of these brushes, I'm gonna be pissed. I bought each of these brushes for like 10 euros each. Obviously I bought them over time, but they they're not they're not cheap. Paris isn't cheap. Paris is like, oh you wanna be an artist? Okay. So does everybody else. Here's here's the ticket. This isn't this isn't no hobby lobby. I swear art stores are so expensive here. And if anybody lives in Paris, please Show me a hole in the wall art store that where I can I can get art supplies on the low. Like, reach out to me. I beg of you. Anyways, that's it for today. I really hope I am able to manifest an amazing like trial and error art journey. Definitely read the book Killing Commendador by Haruki Murakami if you are an artist. Or even if you're not an artist, it's actually a really great book anyways. I will see you guys with a new video next week. Okay, I need to stop saying that. I really don't know what to say.